Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy X. We just had that whole big cutscene with Orin. So it looks like now he's joined the party. Um, and we haven't done any sphere goods or anything like that in a, quite a little while. So I'm going to do that right now. Um, I'm probably going to skip a good bit of this just so, you know, it doesn't take a long time. But um, Okay, so I guess we are all good here. Alright, let's continue with the game. I guess let's talk to Yuna first. Hey, watch. <gasps> yeah. Hey, you got pretty good. You sound sad. Yeah, maybe. Want to scream? Mm, I really don't think that's going to help this time. You know what? Hmm? It's embarrassing to say this myself, but summoners and their guardians are kind of like Spira's ray of light. A lot of people in Spira depend on us. I learned to practice smiling when I'm feeling sad, you know. <laughs> I know it's hard. Yeah. I understand. I think. Right. Now let's see what you can do. Huh? Come on. Uh, uh. Supposed to just smile? Next, try laughing out loud. What? Come on, show me. We shouldn't laugh anymore. journey to be full of laughter okay if we should get separated just whistle I'll come running I promise Let's go. What are you looking at? We were just worried you guys might have gone crazy. Sorry. Well then, all right. Now, we will go to the temple at Jose. And do guardians, it. don't forget to smile. All right, to the next 
temple we go. Let's see what we can do. Did we already get there that quick? Okay. I guess it's a really cool land. Let's go ahead and uh, do a quick save here and we'll go. Traveler saves for level 2 thanks to the Besaid Oryx achievements. Save spheres are now able to teleport you to the Blitzball Stadium. Many denizens of Spear are avid boats. Talk to them with Z to scout them. Sign the player, best players in Spear and lead. Okay, that's actually kind of sick. So we can kind of play Blitzball anytime we want. It's kind of cool. Alright, so let's see what we can check out here. Is there anything anything in this bush? Doesn't seem like it. Fair enough. I never got why they added those little um, crevices if there's nothing actually there. This is a statue of Lord Mehen. Eight centuries ago, he founded a legion known today as the Crusaders. In just a few short years after their founding, their ranks grew throughout Spiran. The Maesters of Yevin feared an uprising and accused them of rebellion. So Lord Mehen walked along this very road to go face their charges and refute them. He succeeded in winning the Maester's trust, and his legion became an arm of the Yevin clergy. It was then that Yevin gave them the name Crusaders, which they have kept ever since. And the rest is history. Cool. Wild battles out here? Ha! Huh. That one looks slow. Why they're wild? It's also tough. Let me handle this. No way! I can take it! Uh, yes. What the? <laughs> um. Why did he do so much damage? Told ya, Sir Aran's the best! <laughs> I could have done that. Okay, well, Oren's good, obviously, yeah, but. I mean, I, I would hope so. He was the. <laughs> One of two guardians of the high summon, I would I hope he's kind of good, you know. I'm just saying. Alright, cool. We got. Ooh, that's. Good for the damage. Oh, and I was asleep. Oh, they keep trying to tell me what to do here. I get it. Yeah, Orin does more damage, but it's all right. It's not that big of a deal, honestly. Do you know what those ruins are from? Some old city. Correct. A city most ancient. A terrible testament to sin's power. I tremble every time I see them. Compared to sin, humans are mere mud puppies. But I believe humans are the only ones capable of defeating sin. A good reply. I am relieved to hear you say that, Milady Summoner. Oh? Where are my manners? I am matron, a scholar, at your service, Milady. I am on a journey, studying the history of our world, Spira, seeking its stories and secrets. My travels have taken me to many places, and I am troubled by what I have seen. Fragile smiles on people's faces, crumbling at the mere mention of sin. They are counting on you, milady. Give them a reason to rejoice once more. I will. Yeah, we're gonna do our best here. Turnia. Oh, something's written there. Oh. Can't really read that just yet because we still need some more books. Okay, is there anything back here? Any chests, perhaps? Chest, I knew it. Ice brand. Don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out later. There's always chests behind those types of hidden places. Please give this to Lady Summoner as a token of my gratitude. Um, I'm sure she'll use it in battle eventually. One of my 12 or 13 high potions. Chocobos. 
Lady Summoner, I presume. Yes, I am Yuna. I am Lucille, captain of the Jose Chocobo Knights. And I'm Alma. We've been charged to guard the high road. There have been reports of a large fiend appearing in this area with the taste for chocobos. Do take care, Samani Yuna, if you are to rent any chocobos. Thank you. We will be careful. Good. We should get back to our rounds. Farewell. Our prayers are with you. A chocobo eating monster? That's not cool. Who'd want to eat those giant chickens? A large fiend? Hmm. Let's go get him! Why not? Why? <laughs> Why? It's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. <laughs> What'd I say now? Jekt said that a lot, too. <laughs> and every time he said it, it meant trouble for Braska and me. <laughs> I think we'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen, right? Oh, big guy. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do 1800. What? Makes one enemy drop speed spheres. Let's try it. It's mm. a lot of damage. Um, let's put darkness on it so that way it misses when it attacks. Okay. Oh, did it? Oh, I hit. Okay, perfect. What are you immune to? I don't know. I'm just gonna guess fire. The other ones were weak to fire, so I'm guessing that's probably the same thing with this guy. Okay, so do an attack. This thing's basically blind now, so... You could probably hit it a bunch of times real good and... be fine. Nah, you missed. You suck. Alright, should be dead fairly soon here. Oh, okay, this will kill it right here. Easy, easy, easy. No problem. I should have probably switched in some people. I need to get into the habit of switching people in. I do need to get into that habit. Hello? Ah, a summoner party. Uh, you too are a summoner? My name is Belgamine. You are? My name is Yuna. Ah, the High Summoner's daughter. I've heard much of you. But you are still fresh on the road, are you not? Yes, I am. I might have a few things to teach you. Hmm? Let us see which are stronger. My Aeons or yours. A one-on-one -on -one match. Not to the death, of course. What do you say? Let's do it. <clears throat> I'll do my best. Good. Before we begin... Heal, of course. Your Aeons have been healed. You can fight with your full strength. Let's do it. Let's give it a try, huh? That thing looks strong as crap. Show me how strong of a link you forge with your Aeons. Summon. Summon Veil 4. They have Infrit there too, but I think it wants us to summon Veil 4. Since it was technically our first Aeon, I think. I'm guessing fire, water, lightning, fire, ice. So this guy's fire. So ice should be good against him, right? That would make sense. I'm guessing this guy's fire, considering he has fire coming out of his face. Oh. An Aeon attributes rise with those of its summoner, thus the infrared the infrared one summoner calls may be converted from one called by another summoner. Because this infant's strength and HP are both high, it will win in a straight fight. Try fighting using your Aeon's shield and boost commands. Shield stops your Aeon's overdrive, but reduces the amount of damage it receives. Boost accelerates the overdrive, but increases. Okay. To hit your Aeon with a powerful attack, the infant alternatives. The infant alternates between attacks and meteor strike. Coming out, so defend using your shield. I don't know how to use a shield. 
Oh. Okay, so let's go ahead and shoot him. Okay, so it's gonna meteor strike. Okay, so now I should be able to attack it. Fight, uh, Blizzard does a tiny bit stronger. Let's use shield. There's another Blizzard on it? I know it's probably gonna Meteor Strike, but I'm gonna get WAP, but that's alright. Yeah, oh, how much is it gonna hurt? Ugh. Overdrive. Let's do that. Let's use an energy. Let's see how much. Will this kill it, maybe? I just need to get to that point where I can kill it. 1000, that's pretty good. Is it weak? No, wait, why, why does it attack twice? Unless we have to lose this fight. We almost beat the game when it maybe because it wasn't supposed to get beat there? I don't understand. We were about to beat it. Oh, you have a lot to learn. We were about to beat you. You need more training. But you did well. Seekers you right. show promise. With more training, you could defeat Sin. Thank you. But I think you might defeat Sin before I am able to. I cannot. Huh? Or should I say, I was not able to. You mean... Farewell, Yuna. We'll meet again. So she tried it fighting Sin before? That's wild. Okay. That was interesting. Okay, I guess let's keep moving on here. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna... Ooh, a couple more encounters. I think I'm gonna run over to the safe station and probably... Ooh. We gotta make sure we don't die here. I'm gonna run to the safe station and probably end the episode off. That is... No, 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 no! Don't do that, bro. Okay, can y'all stop attacking? Hello, dude? Okay, and it looks like we actually got an item from that last fight. So let's see. Okay, save is right here. Um, no, I want equipment. Let's go to Lulu. We have the fire. Okay, the fire strike. That is good because a lot of these people are weak to fire around here. So, um, okay, that's good. I'll hopefully be able to use that. Okay, but I'm going to save right here, guys. And I'm going to end the episode. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment. That's what's the channel. And I'll see you guys later. God bless. And.